Hey guys, so today I am going to look at a video from Nick Strength in Pokemon. Uh, give him a look. Uh, we previously had discussed buying MetaZoo. Uh, this was before the recent update. Uh, the update is, from a legal standpoint, kind of a mess. The longer bankruptcy takes, the less clean it gets. Um, I had another attorney who does bankruptcy, so I have done one bankruptcy case as a externship. It, bankruptcy is always very messy because you have so many different parties all trying to get paid out and everyone saying, well, I have priority, you know, I have priority. And like Nick mentioned, it's unlikely that there's much more likely that there are more parties going to be added than less parties. So we already have a ton of parties here. And in my opinion, this, this is a mess. I don't know what they did to MetaZoo. Because at one point in time it was making $21 million. You would think at this point in time, or even $7 million, let's call it like $10 million a year on average, give or take. That's a pretty good business. Um, that's definitely a business that you can hire people. That's definitely a business you can run conventions. My opinion of what happened to MetaZoo and how they ended up owing $1.7 million. And like Nick mentioned, many of most of it is most of it they probably won't ever pay because there's pre-orders, uh, streamer kits, and so on. It, it, it's bad because technically speaking, if Mike gets a hold of his company again, he can just do the same thing. Rinse and repeat, right? And just not pay because these people, a person buying a $100 streamer kit doesn't have the ability to pay thirty to $40,000 for a lawyer. I just finished, almost like yesterday, a very big legal situation it ended up costing. Now, I didn't pay this amount of money. My client paid this, you know, amount of money. You know, it ended up costing a lot of uh, $200,000, $400,000 in just legal fees. In just legal fees. And then that that's lawyers for you, right? Uh, lawyers are really, really expensive. And I don't know uh, if I want to really spend my time, you know, maybe we'll have, a, have to have a have talk with Nick about this doing this because it's very I mean this is a fifty thousand dollar legal problem that you would probably have to hire a, a professional to deal with um, which this is a very this is far more complicated than the one I tackled in law school because that was a printing shop this is a card game with IP and there's various artists and so it might be worth it but it might not um, it, it simply could be too much of a hassle and headache. Uh, also, the shipping of... So I, I told Nick, I'm not interested in the product. Uh, unless it's Hello Kitty Plush or Hello Kitty cards, specifically to promote, I have, or Alpha Investment cards, I have no interest in the pallets and pallets of stuff. That does not intrigue me. I still don't own a single MetaZoo card today. And I don't think I will until maybe I buy the company out. It's tough to look at this company and really on like for it to collapse the way it collapsed tells me that there's a lot of shady activity that activity of course has not been reported yet but as the bankruptcy proceedings go on i expect to see more and more of it and you can see the rats fleeing off the ship right um very simply put i mean i can tell you about the content creators argos anonymous no longer content creating maybe he should buy this Right, ask Ketchum, not long, no longer content creating. Maybe he should buy this, right? Uh, Alpha Investments no longer has any videos up about MetaZoo in a positive way. If you watch his channel, it now seems like he was warning you about MetaZoo's collapse. Uh, there are a lot of content creators who fl fled. The artists, they all fled. Even the ones that had percentages, there were, there were two artists that actually owned this company, that owned a percentage in this company. Where are they? Why didn't they... You know, tell Nick that they had actually owned the company. It's it's a lot of shady things, man. It, it's why why the f do you have, like? I, let, let me tell you like the most ridiculous thing. Um, and we're gonna see this a little later. This is this would blow this blows my mind, right? Actually, we're gonna see. It has ten different owners, and only one owner was smart enough not to put his name down. And that was DJ Kid Millionaire, and that was Steve Aoki. Okay, that's Steve Aoki's limited liability company, L LTD, right? 
other than that, you got like real people. This is how I know this is a clown show. Like companies, like large companies, like companies who are doing 10, 20 million dollars. Mike Waddell said 50 million dollar company uh, a year, revenue a year. That's legit. It's in Walmart, it's in Target. This is not a, they don't have at this stage like people who have actual names. Like they have other companies, like just like how Steve Aoki did this, because if the company goes bankrupt, there's something called piercing the corporate veil. Because you use your real name, if it turns out you bought Mike Wendell, again, this is a hypo, bought a Lamborghini with company money. Well, he is responsible for returning that money. If it turns out he bought uh, a Starbucks coffee and had nothing to do with, you know, he's re reliable, he's responsible for returning that money. So the reason that people often register companies like Mike Metazoo LLC and in Steve Aoki's case, he uses a registered company to own a percentage of another company, which would be MetaZoo. This is actually quite common, is because of the liability. So if you can pierce the corporate veil, Mike Waddell might be on a hook for the whole 1.7. You know, because again, how much of that was acting in the company, at what point in time. And, then, and this Netflix show doesn't make it seem any better. He's having a great time here. When at this point in time, he probably realizes that the company is in financial trouble. Yet he's saying that this little whatever this is, is $25,000. Like you can't, you really can't make this stuff up, right? So the smartest person in all this is Steve Aoki. He owned 45%. Um, that's a lot of percent. Mike doesn't, and this is the other thing what I learned from my own partnership, you never give up 51% or 50.1%, whatever it is, you never give up control of your company, which Mike did. Because of Steve Aoki and that Craig dude decided to vote together, they have 50%. So I am absolutely baffled why he would give up, why he only had 45 points. This is just, I mean, I don't know. This is a clown show, man. I don't know. I mean, this is not good news. It's, it's good news if you want to buy it cheaply, but it's not good news if you actually want to run it. So at Nick's, I know Nick's most, his interest is seems to be on the product side. The IP side is a mess. I mean, I, I look at it, it, there's so many, why the F, how in the world do you get to a situation where Mike Waddell doesn't own 51% is beyond me. That is crazy to me that he let go control and it's crazy to me that the counting looks the way you go from 21 million to 7 million to half a mil, right, for this year. And supposedly you were at 50 million before you were at 21 million. This, this is a mess, guys. I, I don't I don't know. It's a mess, right? Um, there's a lot, there's a lot of dangers. There's a lot of what I would be most afraid of. There is a lot of outstanding debt that these creditors haven't really been notified yet. Um, I'm not seeing, you know, a lot of them, um, the ones that should be here. And they all have lawyers, guys. Like, they all have lawyers, and they're going to... I, it kind of reminds me, like, Shopify has one point... <laughs> Shopify, what what is it, that $150,000? $150, Their website sucks. Like, what the hell? How the hell do you spend $150,000 on Shopify? It's beyond me. So, so what I would be afraid of is these debtors exaggerating what they're owed, which often does happen in bankruptcy court. Um, because I look at the MetaZoo website and I have no idea how the hell the thing, they owe $150,000 to Shopify. And that, that's very concerning. That is very concerning. If you, if, if you see creditors and they're just circling the drain or distribution, uh, golden distribution, how they owe that much money. It's not a good sign.